Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up Mac OS Sierra to run on VirtualBox uh, on an Ubuntu machine. So, first thing first, you want to download uh, Sierra 10.12, just update that. And this is the shortcut, okay? So type that into a browser right there, enter. It'll load up a drive with the image. You want to download this, okay? Once it's downloaded, you're going to see a RAR file like this. Open Archive Manager and open it up. You'll notice there's a couple of files. You want the VMDK file right here. Mac OS 10.212 Sierra Final by Tech Reviews. Okay. I've done that already. It's right there. Okay. And now, you want to go into VirtualBox, which you can install into your Ubuntu machine. Now, I've already done it. Basically, you go uh, New. You type in here Mac OS exactly how it's written there 10.12 Sierra. Okay, I've already done it, so I'm going to cancel. So I'll just show you the settings. You're going to create a Mac OS system, you want it uh, to basically be um, four gigs minimum memory. But I can't go up higher than this green because I, it hang, hung my system before when I went too high. It defaulted to ICH9 and everything else went was fine uh, on the checkboxes here. My processor uh, had to be increased to 2 and I left acceleration on by default. Display should be 128 megs, everything else the same. I This enabled or disabled acceleration, I'm not sure, matters. So just do that. Storage, uh, the only thing to watch out for under here is to make sure SATA port is 0 and then the rest is by default OK under network enable it have a bridge I used bridge adapter to my Wi-Fi and that's it so now let's start the machine now when you set up the machine and I'll just put it to full screen here control F will get me there when you set up the machine initially it will complain about not recognizing the keyboard because it's obviously not a Mac um, and it'll ask you to press a button to the left or right of the shift key so just press something. Uh, I had to press around a little bit to find a key I didn't really use, and it detected it. I ended up using the the backslash key rather than the forward slash, and it worked. So the machine runs, but there are a few issues. Uh, you will get Sierra going, but I noticed a few website-related, um, well, apps that use certain websites don't work. I'm not sure why and also a few um, some of the graphics issues so it could be a combination of both there's also some issues with sound um, pretty much input and output with sound is completely buggered um, there's almost no microphone handling at all uh, and also the um, you know sound out is very very slow so here's the main login screen I'm gonna log in oh the other thing to notice is that the uh, video is defaulted by to 1024 by 768 because as of yet VirtualBox doesn't have a guest edition CD image that lets me pull up a full screen. But here we are. You can see the App Store is functioning. I'm going to load that up. Okay, I didn't put in my credentials yet, like Apple ID. But as you can see, um, you know, if you wanted to download apps, you can. Um, and I'll try maybe in in future videos I will try a few and download and see if they work uh, obviously games are not going to be really working so don't count on any good 3d performance with games I mean it's barely running with the video as it is okay um, I'm pretty surprised about Safari Safari is working well you can go to YouTube that seems to work fine and you can load up uh, videos Right here, you click on that for example. It's randomly clicking the video here. It'll bring it up, and as you can see, um, I don't know what this is. Anyway, this is a video. You can jump forward. You can hear the sound, perhaps in the background, but it's sluggish. Okay, but the video works. Now, if I go to full screen performance, it's going to be horrendous. Well, this one's not too bad, but uh, other videos are pretty choppy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's chopping. And again, the sound is pretty bad. 
So let's get out of full screen and pause that. I downloaded an, uh, an audio file before and I put it into iTunes. So let's bring that up. Okay, and we'll play this. You might be able to hear something in the background there, but again, it's not. See, it, it basically freezes and then it picks up again. And then it'll freeze again. See? Froze again. And then it'll play again. So yeah, no, sound sound is terrible. Just support for sound is terrible. And same with Siri. I can't record in, so obviously Siri doesn't pick up my audio at all. Um, but as you can see, the rest works. I mean, Maps has issues. Okay, we'll bring up Toronto. And it puts a pin up on the map but I have no map. For some strange reason it is not finding the server or the map server or whatever it's supposed to connect to. It's not able to get to. Okay? That's why I think it's some networking bug. I mean YouTube worked but for some reason this doesn't. And the interesting thing is if I go to say uh, a site like TuneIn and I want to just uh, listen to some music uh, I can't really stream. You know? Here. This is one of my favorites. So we'll go there. Or not. Yeah, so pick anything. Yeah, try that one. See, it says listen now, open pop up player. Okay, let's see. Come on. Okay, listen to the audio. Very, very slow. Okay, bad. And it's not really playing. I can't hear a thing. I don't know if you can, but there's nothing going on. So, yeah. There are certain sites that don't work. The sound is buggered, but in any case, um, there you have it. Let's just open up the screen here. You can see a little bit about the Mac. This is what it reports, what it thinks it's running on, right there. And basically, that's it. Here, I'll go through some of these. And it can't really find a lot of stuff, obviously. But if you want to play around with it, you can. Now, here, let me get out of the uh, system. I'm going to shut down properly. Okay, we're going to go shut down. Shut down. Okay, it's going to go through its usual shutting down text screen of things. And while it does that, I'm going to just go back out of full screen. Oh, there, it already cut it off. Okay, so there you have it. Again, just to quickly show you how macOS runs in VirtualBox under Ubuntu. And um, now you can go ahead and give it a try. Let me know how it works in your case. If you had any issues uh, uh, or whatnot, let me know. Please leave it in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again.